we're getting ready to pay for the person behind us. We've never done that before. We need a pick me up. So I think it'd be good. Pay it forward for somebody. And after we do this, I will be able to tell you all about my wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs> it was wonderful. Psych. Yeah. Can we pay for the car behind us too? Yeah, they should both be the same. Sorry, I've been taking so many words. No, that's fine. Right. Have a good one. You too. Of course, the person behind us had to be like a $10 order. <laughs> that's okay. No, I think that was the total. Oh, that was the total? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, then that's cheap. Thanks for being cheap, person behind us. Woo! It has been rainy all day. And... I would really like to talk about my day. Maybe not. We can check to see if it's... I think, But I'm fairly certain it wasn't... That was the total. I'm sure you're right. I thought, woo, $9. But that's okay. Because honestly, if you just get... It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. So, betcha they're going to be happy. I've never had anybody do that to me. Have you had anybody? I have. Yeah, a couple times somebody's paid for me. Did you pay it forward? No. Once. <laughs> Once like this time? No, one other time. Well, hopefully we made their day. Honestly, we had a pretty terrible day. Well, I had a pretty terrible day. I need my work phone so that I can work from home and it was not working. So we had to have a technician come out and I spent three and a half hours on the phone with CenturyLink trying to get a technician out. So you scheduled a technician to come out two days ago. Yes. And, and he was supposed to come out at nine o'clock this morning. He was, yes, he was supposed to be there at nine. I called at 920. He's supposed to be there by nine. I called at 920 and they were like, oh yeah, he no showed. They called it something else, but basically he no showed. Let me um, go ahead and see what's going on. So we'll have somebody call you back. Well, no one ever called us back. So I called again and they found out that the guy that is supposed to do our, um, you know, do our maintenance had an all day job. So he wasn't going to be able to make it in, which is really fine. I'm kind of on a time restraint, but the main issue is they didn't call, CenturyLink didn't call us, and they also kind of gave me the hugest runaround ever. I was pretty freaking out about it. So I finally came up with a plan. I was gonna get a Magic Jack and work from home with my Magic Jack for like two days. We already have another phone company coming out to install phone and cable because we kind of want a cable on Monday so I just have to get through Monday so I was going to use the magic jack we went to Walmart got the magic jack we went to lunch for Chinese and then right in the middle of our dinner we get this call from the technician who was not going to be able to come out for the day and was like I just fixed your place um, it looks like it was an outside problem um, we're going to um, so I'm going to head out and I was like, no, 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 wait a minute. Can you, can you stay right where you're at? We're almost done. We weren't, we were almost done. We were kind of done, but, um, Josh kind of stopped in mid bite. Like literally he, he was like chewing and I'm like, let's go. And the guy said he would wait for us. So we came back home and it still wasn't working inside. 
so the um, guy was which the actually surprised yeah. the technician he couldn't quite work that out uh, the technician was really nice he waited for us he came inside he fixed it for free which he could have charged us I mean I have a maintenance package to the phone company but he still could have charged us for it and so I guess this is our way of paying it forward because we worked out that yeah. so we have two phone jacks in the house one of them is legitimately bad somehow it's not clear how it doesn't really matter how but one of them is actually functional and it's a good thing it's the one that we wanted to use for her work and the other one had a short in it and we think that possibly may have been causing the problem because once he disconnected it it worked but yeah. i'm really really thankful for that guy because he got done early from his other job and was just trying to help out another guy and he didn't even have to do that. Who was supposedly the first guy, so this wasn't the actual guy who was supposed to do the job, it was somebody in addition, it was the second guy. So, so if any of this makes sense, that's fine. We got our phone fixed and we paid it forward at Starbucks. And that was really easy. I get really nervous about, oh, hello, sorry about that. I get really nervous about stuff like that because I'm afraid they're gonna tell me no, but even if they do tell me no, then um, they can just suck it. You don't tell me no. <laughs> well, anyway, hopefully we can have a good rest of the night. You know, like when I talk in the videos. <laughs> That's true. I don't think any of that made sense is what I just said and Josh was replying. But even if it didn't make sense, my phone's fixed. And that's the most important part, right? Mm -hmm. And we have iced caramel grande with whole milk coffees. And that's also the most important part. And we're getting ready to go home. And what are we going to do when we get home, probably? I don't know. What are we going to do when we get home? Watch a movie, maybe? Maybe. Play in Real Nation. <laughs> Read papers. Ooh. I am sorry y'all, this is probably going to be really shaky, but I had to get it out while I was excited. 